the loose. New tonight, now when it comes to pets who are sick, owners will go to great lengths to help them feel better. Some are now willing to turn to a remedy that's not even legal in some states. They're taking matters into their own hands using pot for pets. Hey, get your ball, cross. 12 year old Luna plays like a puppy now, but it was a very different story last June. Coughing constantly and couldn't breathe. Luna had late stage lymphoma and was put on an intense schedule of chemotherapy with devastating side effects. So owner Rowan Capers, herself a medical marijuana patient, took matters into her own hands. The first time I dosed her, I was so scared. And we, we were like, all night. Capers gave Luna medical marijuana to help ease her suffering. The more I increased her cannabis dose, the less side effects that she had. The vomiting stopped. The diarrhea stopped. The cannabis was in the form of a concentrated oil in a capsule. That's about a dose and a half. Yes. Capers said the results have been remarkable. When you see them enjoying life and feeling better and not being sick, you know, yes, I've hit something. Darlene Arden is a certified animal behaviorist who's a strong advocate for allowing medical marijuana use for pets. I think we can now see marijuana for exactly what it is and what it can do. Not a street drug, but a legitimate medication to be used under proper supervision. But the ASPCA disagrees. We don't have enough data to know how it could be used effectively, and I think that we have currently a lot of really good modalities to treat pain using multiple different drugs and therapies. I don't want to bash the drugs, but you take some of these pain medications for the dogs and they say, well, we're going to have to check the blood level and make sure their liver's okay. This is legacy. When their 13-year-old golden retriever was diagnosed with cancer, Mary Lynn Mathry and Al Byrne administered a daily dose of cannabis, not just to their sick dog, but to all their pets. Come on. Normally for the dogs, um, for the cancer and that, it just seems the butter made from the, the remnants of, of the cannabis plant. Put it on a cracker, and every evening they get their cannabis cracker. That's it. Mathry says she's seen proof that the cannabis helped the cancer in legacy and also helped heal a hot spot on another dog's leg. It was just no hair, a circle here that she'd lick and lick. I'd say the energy is up. Um, certainly their coat and their shine in their eyes is there. But until there's a formal study and not just anecdotal evidence about the effectiveness of medical marijuana for pets, experts still advise caution. The only thing more heartbreaking than watching your pet suffer would be to know that you maybe gave your pet something that made them worse or even killed them, and that's just not a risk that I would be willing to take. But those who do take that, uh, that operation into their own hands say that the cannabis that's given to the pets and is treated and is administered in such a way that it does not make the animals actually feel high.